Pitch shifting vocals is a fun way to add some spice to your production and it's something I myself like to use every once in a while for my songs like this one. What's up geniuses, my name is Adrian Rivera and welcome back to the channel where you learn to show your genius. I have a confession to make. The example I showed you wasn't actually pitch shifting. It's called pitch formatting and often gets confused with pitch shifting. However, luckily for you, I'll be showing you both ways on how to do it in FL Studio today. By the way, if you want to listen to the song I just showed you in full, the link is in the description. If this is your first time hearing about pitch shifting and formatting, you might be wondering, What's the difference? To put it simply, pitch shifting changes the pitch of your vocals. So if you're singing a C, mm. you can change the pitch up or down to sing a different note such as an A mm. or an even higher C. <laughs> pitch formatting changes the tonality of your vocal. So you can still sing the C, mm. but you can also sing that C with a higher or lower tone. Mm. Or Mm. It makes sense. You get it. You get the idea. Obviously, I'm demonstrating with my voice, but FL Studio can do all this stuff digitally, and it makes for some pretty cool sounding vocals. So let's hop into FL Studio and show you how exactly to do it. First, I'm going to show you how to pitch shift and format shift using FL Studio's plugin called Pitch Shifter. I prefer this plugin because it's easier to use on my vocal chain instead of having to edit every single individual audio file. But don't worry. After I show you how to do this with Pitch Shifter, I'm going to show you another way that you can use with any addition of FL Studio. So this is our vocal sample that we have right here. Subscribe. First, what we're gonna wanna do is make sure that this is routed to a mixer channel. So in this case, we have the vocal routed to mixer channel one. So here's our mixer channel. Pull up the vocal on mixer channel one, and then you wanna go to your effects and then add pitch shifter. After that, you're gonna wanna go to voice. And right here, you'll see we have pitch and format. This is literally all it is. If you wanna adjust the pitch, just bring up the pitch. Subscribe. And if you want to adjust the format, bring down or bring up the format. Subscribe. If you want to get a little more fancy with it, what you could do is go to one of these knobs, right click and click create automation clip. And from here, we can automate the format. Subscribe. And again, we could do the exact same thing with the pitch over here. And you can get some wacky effects that kind of sound like this. Subscribe. Very weird. But cool. Now let's say that you don't have access to Pitch Shifter. How can you do this in FL Studio while being able to do it on the All Plugins Edition or the Fruity Edition? First, what you're gonna want to do is go to your audio file, into the sampler, and go to the mode and click Stretch Pro. And right away, you'll see that we have a format option right here. Subscribe. Subscribe. What's awesome about this format knob is that we can right click this and click cre uh, create automation clip. And just like the pitch shifter, we can automate the format of our audio file. Subscribe. Now, if we want to edit the pitch of this audio file, we can always go to time stretching and click the pitch here. However, I don't like to use time stretching because for some reason you can't automate the pitch under time stretching. What you can automate, however, is this pitch knob up here. And you can see it says range is two. This means that we have a range of two semitones going up and down. However, if we bring it up to 12, that'll give us a range of 12 semitones, which means one octave. The cool thing about this that pitch shifter can't do is go up even higher than 12. However, more than likely, you're gonna be sticking within the range of 12. So if we bring the pitch all the way up and click play, Subscribe. same effect, the pitch is shifted up. And just to show you, you could also automate the pitch and you could get that same weird wacky effect. Subscribe. How cool. Pitch shifting and formatting in FL Studio is really that simple. It's a great way to add some pizzazz to your vocals and is a lot of fun to mess around with in general. If you're looking for high quality beats to put your vocals over, feel free to check out my beat store, adriorovera.com and subscribe for more content like this. Speaking of more content like this, feel free to check out this video to learn how to pitch correct in FL Studio. Thank you so much for watching. Show your genius.